So because we changed the way the player was set up, we actually have a bug now when we are hitting, we get this error, so we cannot take, give damage anymore, so we need to change that again. Um, and the way I did it was like, I went into the player fab, go down to the animator and make an animation uh, pass script. And what I will do in the animation pass script, let's see here, uh, did not open, so let's just open it again. We will make the, the public void hit and brackets and then go into the combat player and take the part where we actually get the error here put it in there instead and go into the combat player and remove this and then we're gonna need uh, gonna need using unity rpg combat and we need using unity stats and using rpg player uh, and from there we need to get hold on the player controls we say public player controller or player control so this name and this one match and then you want to have a public uh, what is our player stats called again? It's called player stats. And we're gonna call it P stats. Like that. So now these are gone. And then we let it compile. Go into our game. Let's see if it, we attack. And oh, we forgot to change the animation. So let's go back, click on this, animation, great short slash, and use hit instead. Go back, start the game, host. I run towards this enemy, hit, and now we get another reference. Oh yeah, <laughs> we forgot to in the player, we forgot to actually assign the values, assign these, so take the player, move in here, take the player, move in here, and then it should work. Go over and hit. Now it works. Great. So for finding new weapons, we go to the asset store and we can find uh, a new weapon to implement to our game. So I suggest that you start up with a melee we weapon so you can follow along. So maybe you will find an axe, you can set it to free. You can find something you think, think that seems fit for your game. Uh, I think we will go with... Bo -bo 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 what could it be? Uh, I like this. Uh, so we'll take... Blink. Add it to my assets. Let me go open in Unity. Download. Import when it's done. And import. go so now we have these let's see blink let's rename it to weapons and put them into visuals and actually rename them again to weapon so weapon art okay uh, what we need to do is to open our player put him back into the scene so let's find some space it can be anywhere like here and 
put in the player this and let's just check he has some health let's give him some health and then we go to the player in the scene and model and Maria and we're gonna uncheck the sword for now and hips and spine spine right shoulder right arm and find sword joint uh, some models also just have right hand and if your last thing is right hand you use that but then we will create a new into game object here and call it two hand weapon and under there we're gonna put in our new swords visual weapon art art weapon style we will do the maybe this one and the prefab come in here so what that does is that we can uh, change the settings here instead on to the two hand whip so what we need now is to make this one fist into the arm and one way to do it is that you can actually unhide this again and just make it fit that one so we will take it down and you can play with this it might take some time and let's see that so kind of depending on what item you found that's how much time it this will take but now it's in a hand and we can play with it uh, oh actually if I actually have to override because and then we can go test the weapon out and we go over and see that maybe we should turn it a bit we are also getting an error here I can see so the error is that on these we haven't put in the animator of the goblin just to be sure we do like this that just apply and that should fix that that problem just gonna do it again then go in and instead okay so we wanted to turn it a bit so let's give the guy some more health so he doesn't die let's see if that's work so uh, let's see and see the player okay so we want the weapon to hit directly into his head so let's see if we cannot change that so you can go in here and you can find the weapon and we can just turn it a bit like that see how that looks It is better and then we take the copy the component go out of combat go back to the player into the spine and into the joint into the and place value as new so now the values should fit and be right. Oh, I actually put in the values the wrong place, so you can just reset this one. 
and then it should work. So you actually So let's see. It's fine. Right. Okay. So we put that weapon into prefab and call it weapon. Um take the assets, prefab, player, open that, open prefab, weapon, draw these two in there, and then you can delete it again. Like that. And then we are ready to work on our weapon swap. 